Over the past years, I've spent a lot of time designing and 3D printing lamps. Each one had something interesting about it, but none of them ever really felt like mine. So I started wondering, what would a lamp look like that truly fits me? So I did some research and started working on the design. Mid-century design is all about simple, timeless shapes, clean lines and functional beauty. That's what I really like about it. It feels modern, even though it comes from the 1950s and 60s. When you look up mid-century table lamps online, at first they all seem beautiful. But when you take a closer look, many of them feel a bit dated. Sometimes it's the shape, the material or just the overall look. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid and that's why I call my design modern mid-century. The design of this lamp is really simple. A clean base, a soft shade, nothing extra. It's minimal but still feels warm. Exactly the kind of lamp I'd want to have in my home. Just as important as the design is the right material. Since I'm 3D printing the entire lamp, I'm limited to what's available in printing materials. But even there, the options are huge. For the cylindrical base, I went with a wood PLA blend. With around 50% wood fibers, it feels very natural to the touch. For the bottom, I used a matte black PLA and for the shade, a matte white PLA. You could also go with PETG or similar if you want more heat resistance, but for me, this setup works perfectly. By the way, you can actually build all of my projects yourself. You'll find the files and extras on my Kofi page, including behind the scenes material. But now let's print everything, put it together and see if the lamp really turns out the way I imagined it. And here it is, my modern mid-century table lamp, designed exactly the way I wanted it. During assembly I came up with a few ideas for improvements. To avoid the Z-seam, that visible line you often get in 3D printing, you can print the lampshade with a larger nozzle in vase mode. That's what I did with the other two lamps and it gives a much cleaner, higher quality look. I also printed the base with a higher infill to make it heavier and give it a better feel in the hand. And of course, you can print all the parts in different colors, if you like. Do you want to build projects like this too? Check out my Ko-Fi, where you'll find not only projects, but also upcoming courses. Let me know in the comments what you would have done differently on this build and what project you'd like to see next. See you next time!